Hello all and welcome back to my channel. It has taken me quite some time to uh, to get some things together. Uh, I realized that I had plenty of whips that I even forgot about. So grab some coffee, um, which I have my favorite whack with lots of cream. And sit down and relax for a little bit. My daughter did suggest that I probably put this into a two-part video because she thinks that I have a lot and she might be right. <laughs> so the first half of the video I am and by the way I wanted to say thank you. You guys make me feel so good. I got lots of comments. I got lots of subscribers. Um, a couple people reached out to me um, and it makes me feel wonderful. I already knew the floss tube community was already um, we're, it's very close-knit so it's been really fun to talk to people and to um, just enjoy everybody's works of art and so if you like my channel subscribe I appreciate the subscribers I already have and I was already blown away by how many have already subscribed um, yeah just thank you um, my family has watched my videos, which was a little, you know, uh, a little bit different because they're more critical, I think, sometimes. But um, I thought it was good. Uh, even my husband watched it. My husband is a huge supporter of things that I like to do. We enjoy letting each other do our own things. So I think that's a lot of fun. Um, he enables me probably more than probably more than anybody should um, but I appreciate that it means I don't have to make some hard decisions when I want to purchase some bigger projects or if I need something for projects I'm already working on so with no more delays I'm going to start this amazing whip parade so let's see what I have in my bag and mind you some of these have don't even have not been and it's in no particular order either um, many of these are mania starts and I might have gotten maybe three or four stitches in them so I feel a little guilty about even showing them but they're whip and yeah so this one is spring fairy by dimensions and I will try not to make too much noise I know some people um, don't like that I and I agree um, so this one was a 2019 mania start I would like to get back to this I will say that this was an enabler this was an enabler start do I ever I don't remember I will start writing it down actually but um, it was either done by um, so this was an enabler I I want to, I can't remember exactly who it was, but um, this is the Spring Fairy, and this is a Dimensions Gold kit. She's so beautiful. I, I wished I got back to her a lot more. Um, I worked on her, I believe, one day, literally one day. And this is what I got done in my one day, which isn't too bad. I have a lot less. <laughs> Trust me, there's more of my whips that have less stitches than this. So, um, I don't know if I said it in my last video, but I am planning on doing next year, unless my plans have changed, next year I am going to be, it's gonna be a dimensions, a dimensions year. So, unless it doesn't fit into something else, it I will be working on all of my dimensions kits um, and hopefully having a few finishes to go with that, if I would like, that's, that's my whole. That's my thought process. We'll see how that works. Um, my next up is, um, is Santa's Arrival Stocking. I wanted to do a stocking for each one of my children. And I love dimensions, so obviously I think that it's gonna be inevitable that all my stockings will probably be dimensions. Um, I, did, I do have a few kits or a few magazines that have really beautiful stockings in them, so. I don't know if all of theirs will have them, um, but my family's growing really quickly. 
so I am not 100% sure I will ever get enough stockings done to ever hang them where I would like to. Um, but this one's Santa's Arrival Stocking. Again, another Dimensions kit. I One thing y'all may not know about me is I absolutely love Santa. Santa is, and you're going to see it in a lot of my in a lot of my whips. Um, I don't know what it is. I just absolutely love it. I can honestly tell you. Oh yeah, I, I, this is where I start. Where I got with this. This is a one-day start, which was perfect. I mean, I think I got really good stitching in this one. Um, I hope to finish one maybe next year. I did finish a dimensions kit for a friend of mine. Um, have yet to put it together. Uh, I get scared of not of learning. Of not doing something for the first time so I tend to put it off and procrastinate a little bit um, but again another mania start um, for 2019 eventually one day I will actually finish that let me see what else we got here another stocking snowman and friends I do believe my daughter Danielle has or Emma <laughs> has already claimed this one hopefully I'll finish it um, before they get, but there it is. He's super cute. I love the fact that there's cardinals in it. The chipmunks, the bunnies. And where we live right now, this is like our backyard, literally. We have cardinals, we have chipmunks, we have everything. The blue jays, we have it all. And they like to come to our back door. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure where I got with this one either, but it looks like I actually got some stuff done. Again, I don't even know if I'm on top or bottom, but it looks like the looks like the snowman's buttons, but I could be wrong. So, got a got a pretty good start on this one. Uh, another mania start, I do believe for 2019. Sorry if that's really loud. I'm dropping things all over the place. Yes, this was also another Mania 2019 start. I do believe in 2019, I um, I believe I started stocking for each one of my children. Um, but since then, my family has grown. Um, I have a couple of soon-to-be new son-in-laws. Um, I have a grandson and a granddaughter who's coming. So they keep multiplying quite rapidly. So I have to... Uh, <laughs> I have to now put those on my list also. So let's see what else is next. Oh, that I wanted to do this one for my husband. It's called Woodland Winter. I changed the fabric on this. I don't remember what fabric um, I actually put this on. I wanna say it's 32 count. Um, but this is the Cross Stitch Gold Collection. My husband is a hunter. He, we love the woods. Um, I just thought this would be really great hanging on our, on our wall. Um, in Alaska, we don't have any white-tailed deer. We actually have black-tailed deer, mule deer. Um, so they're not quite as large as white-tailed deer. Um, so it's really nice to be around here and seeing seeing all of the, the larger deer. And it is, it's 32 count. However, I don't remember. It looks like it's linen. And that's where I got on that. So not too far. But again, maybe this next year I will work on getting some more stuff done on my gold collection. Again, that was also a 2019 Mania start. I like to start things. I think we've already covered that once. This next one is checking his list. This is also another stocking. Another Mania start also. I'll get to the photo here first. And then my progress on it. Santa Claus. Shouldn't surprise anybody. I really, I'm a big Santa Claus fan. If all my girls' stockings could be Santa Claus, I would do it. But my son-in-laws and my, and this is, I did this all by kit. This is, these are all kitted. Yeah, and here's a prime example of how I start my mania starts. That's it technically a whip. It's got a stitch in it. Maybe sometime this year. As I've already said, there's not enough time in the day to actually do anything of what I would like to do. 
but I will continue on and hopefully someday finish all of them. That's all of our dreams, right? All right, this actually was a start in 2019. I I'm hoping <clears throat> this is not a mania start. This was just a start because I have a good friend of mine who has a little girl and her name is Vea. Um, I call her baby Vea. I will always call her baby Vea. She's not a baby anymore. But she right now is into princesses and I made the photocopies for mine. I know the book is around here. Um, this came out of an Ultimate Christmas catalog or book. So, and she loved Frozen, so I figured that this would be a phenomenal piece for us to finish and and actually frame it and, and send it on to her. I started this April 21st of 2019. The fabric that I stitched this on was Frozen Fractionals, which I thought was the perfect Frozen theme. I mean, um, it is on 28 Lugana. It is all sparkly. I love this fabric so much. And here she is. So, her hair. I got some of the tree done. And there's her dress. But I absolutely love how this fabric just sparkles. This totally sets off the whole, the whole theme. I really don't have a whole lot left. I mean, I do have the top of her dress. I have the top of her dress to do. And I have the rest of her on this side of it to do. Um, but it's pretty quick. It, it has come together really quickly. This summer, I did a lot of this all within like a week. Um, I don't remember exactly. I was probably doing magical stitches or something. Um, but I couldn't put her down. And I wanted to make sure this is one of my goals for this year. Uh, in order to finish it, to hopefully send it to her for Christmas. And so you'll probably be seeing a lot of this one over the next few months. Alrighty. I'm just pulling out of my pulling out of my hat here. This is winter. Oh, I really enjoy because that's I think this is part of the Cricut collection. Yes, I so love the Cricut collection. I don't know if it is, it's winter. I don't know if it is from the fact of their intricacy or how it looks so intricate, um, but I do really, abs I love them all. I hate to have the winter or the autumn, I have all of them and eventually would like to get them done and put them up when the seasons, when I change all my seasons. Um, this is also, oh, this is uh, Fabrics by Stephanie, um, Blue Sky Lugana 28 count. And that's where I've gotten so far. The Snowman is all done in Krennic, Krennic however you say that. Um, I will tell you, that was not as much fun as I thought it was going to be. But man, does it sparkle. It really has a great sparkle to it. I really liked it a lot. So eventually, would like to get up on this one. I think this is going to be one of the pieces that, and I'll talk about it more later on, but I, I've been spinning the wheel for the month of, for each month to work on a specific project. Um, with that being said, and this was also a Mania 2019 start, but I've been spinning the wheel for figuring out what I'm gonna do. I got this off of Magical Stitches because they do a lot to, oh actually no, I got it off um, Semi Sane Stitchers. They they spin the wheel on certain games and stuff like that and I thought, well how cool would that be for me to do that with some of my projects? That means I'm not sitting here making the decision and I think that's actually pretty cool to tell you the truth. Um, so all of my projects that I am working on, I do, I put them on the wheel twice or the ones that I want to um, finish in 2020 and then I put some that I really enjoy or want to work on I put them on there once so my focus pieces are on there twice um, at the end of the video I do believe I'm going to show you the one I'm working on now um, and what and that I'll continue working on that until the end of August unless I finish it first which is what I'm hoping I do um, and then I'm going to work on projects that I can complete quickly or I can add to which will be completed quicker. 
So whether it's ornaments, whether it's like winter or a few others that I'm really close on, you'll see um, here soon that I think that's what I'll end up doing with that. All right, next up we have <laughs> probably another stocking. Yep, actually this one I don't know if is a stocking. This is Cardinals on Sled, a Dimensions kit again. I am infatuated with Cardinals. Um, if Santa Claus isn't number one, Cardinals are definitely the next one. And I don't know why, but I absolutely loved this one. We have a male and female cardinal that are come to our house every day. Um, they've brought in their babies every year here to us, and um, I just enjoy watching them. That was like the one thing that I so loved um, when we first moved here, was knowing that those cardinals were coming every single day. So, let me move some of these stitches out of the way. That's where I've gotten so far. Looks like I've gotten a cardinal's tail and a few stitches. I believe I used this for semi same, same stitches this year for one of the games. Um, they do have, um, I think, dominoes coming up soon. And so I have to pick 10 projects, um, which I will join. I, I really enjoy doing that kind of stitching. It's been a lot of fun and I have found between magical stitches and semi same stitches, I've gotten a lot of progress this year and way beyond, I think, what I have, had expected. So another Mania 2019 start. So I've been very, very pleased with all of my progress this year. Um, this was actually a Mania 2018 start, and I got this because my husband and I don't really have anything to commemorate our marriage, and we've been married like 15 years or close to it, um, Dimensions. But it's happily ever after. I just love the scroll work on this. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I've gotten some stuff done. I haven't gotten a lot, but I've gotten some scroll work done on it. So, and it probably goes this way. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. So yeah. I really enjoyed working on this. Probably another piece that I'll end up trying to work on to get it done quicker because if it can get done quick then I can use it for my stitch and stash budget too. All right, what do I have? Oh, I haven't actually worked on this in a long time. This is also another Mania 2018 start. I was actually gonna do this for my daughter, Emma. Uh, it's a Dimensions, it's called Twilight. She's just, she's, this is just something as totally up her alley. So I picked it out for her and haven't done a whole lot with it. A lot of people said they don't like working on the darker fabric, but I found that it's actually not too, too bad. I've actually enjoyed it. Um, you can't see much of it, but, oh, it's funny that the darker fabric, you can see through the darker fabric on here versus the lighter fabric. There you go. So I have gotten a quite a lot of stitches in it, um, mostly half stitches, but it's better than nothing at all. So again, this will be up in 2021. Let's just hope I can get some good progress out of them. All right. Oh, this one. I actually started this one in, for Mania 2019. And, sorry, some of them have uh, Velcro on them. This one was just recently up, not that long. It's, it's a Nora Corbett, and it's Santa's sleigh. I am working on all the reindeer, um, and I wasn't going to do the sleigh to begin with, but I don't know. It's very nostalgic. It's very old looking, um, and I figured if I'm going to do all the reindeer, then I might as well just have the sleigh hanging on the wall eventually too. This one will also be a piece that um, I will bring to light because it is pretty close to being completed. So. I do have quite a lot of stitches still needing to be done on it, but holy Toledo, check it out. I ran out of the cry neck that goes right here. You can see some empty spots of it. Um, so I have to make sure that, you know, that budget my husband gave me or that money my husband gave me, I'm gonna order some more cry neck and make sure it gets here and work on that sleigh. I have some back stitching to do here on her, on the name tags and a little bit on there, but honestly, this is really all I have left is on this side. Um, probably another 
week or so, maybe, depending on the hours that I'm allotted to do so. Work prevents us, prevents me from getting a lot of stitching in sometimes, but, and that is on, I wrote it on the front because it's perfect that way. This is on, I believe from Picture This Plus, it's Chris, Crystal Alchemy on 32 Count Belfast. It's really sparkly. And the reindeer are also on this fabric, so. I love the sparkles. The sparkles make this whole thing work it, so. And now you just got to see all my, the back side of it, so. That works, right? I'm not, the back of my fabric doesn't ever come to life, so. You got to see a little bit of it. All right, what's up next? Northern Night, again, another. This is going, this is another one of my, and I probably, I don't even know if I have a photo of this one. I don't, this is a dimensions kit also, and the page is missing so you can see it. But it's a beautiful piece. Where's the front? Actually, all the call, same called threads, that's actually the, nor that that's the lake part of it. So I really like this piece. It reminds me of Alaska. It reminds me of home. And I will probably, I have thought about doing four of my, four of my dimensions kits. I've thought about putting into a wall hanging um, and quilting them all together. And so I can hang them. So I think that's what I might end up doing with this. And I liked it so much that I actually made a bag with the Northern Lights. So that was pretty cool. And what's up? Let me see what's next. I had a feeling it was this. I love wine. Another confession that I just you just got. So I used to have in my old home, I used to have a saying on the wall saying, uh, whatever you do, pour yourself into it for my wine wall. I absolutely love this piece. And eventually we'll finish it like all the others. I love the colors in this. I really believe that that is a, the reasons why I like it so much. Is the colors are just, they pop on this piece and I like it. Oh, there we go again. It seems like the black fabric's the worst here. So that's what I've gotten done on it. I really, I just really like this. Uh, I can't wait to actually finish this part of it. So it might be a fun piece for me to work on when I actually work finish some of my other projects. And again, project bag that <laughs> I was I think I had some themes going at one point in time. And this one is called Silent Night. This one again is a dimensions kit. Do I even have? <laughs> there it is. It's actually an eagle. Again, another thing that we have an abundance of in Alaska. I just absolutely love this piece. So, I am not sure how far I've gotten on this one. Probably not as far as I'd like to have gotten on it. All my needles are caught up on this thing. So, alrighty. I like to leave my needles on my project. But obviously, doesn't necessarily work. I do not have thimbles for all of this. Ooh, it just got really dark. I hope that we're not going to get a storm. So this is where we're at. It's not a lot. I did not get as much done as I would like to get done on this. Um, but again, my dimensions year is coming. And if we start thundering, then y'all know what's going on. We have not gotten a lot of rain or anything in Pennsylvania, and it has, it, we're so drought ridden in central Pennsylvania right now that mm, flash flooding could be easily, it could happen overnight here, um, or even in hours. So I did start this um, for Mania 2018. Uh, next year, Dimensions year, it's gonna happen. Let me see what this one is. Oh, I have not actually worked on this one in a really long time. I can't show you the pattern because of obviously copyright infringements, but the back of it, it's an old pattern. I found this at 
um, a thrift store. Uh, it's a pattern from 1984 by Meredith Mark. It is the Alaska Silver Anniversary Sampler. Uh, I have not been to a lot of places in Alaska, but I will tell you that I have thoroughly enjoyed working on this, even though it doesn't seem like it's much. This is pretty cool. It, so far, I've gotten the border done on it. Um, it's got all the little towns in Alaska. This piece will have, um, this piece will have crab, mountains, the Brooks Range, Wrangell Denali, which is Mount McKinley, I do believe. Um, but it's got boats for hunting and fishing, the Northern Lights, uh, the sun, which is like the midnight sun. So there are places in Alaska where it that never the sun never sets. In Kodiak, where I lived, it would still be dark. It'll still be light at three o'clock in the morning, and then at four o'clock in the morning, the sun's coming up. So it doesn't. It's pretty cool. Uh, all the things that we have that are that are part of Alaska are on this map. So I would really like to get back to this and actually hang it up on my wall. We do have a, a map of Alaska on our wall that I would probably love to put that next to because I just think that'd be really amazing. I did stitch that in 310. No, yes. I might have done it in anchor thread, but I do believe it's in 310. It is on 32 count. Um, Swaggarts, I believe. And this one is the same thing. So this chart, uh, it's a map of Alaska. Let's see, I just, I don't wanna, yeah, there you go. It's a map of Alaska, and I was going to change it up just a little bit to signify where we used to live in Kodiak. Um, but I found them in a secondhand store bin. I thought it was probably one of the coolest things, besides my mid-Amish life, um, that I have actually found in a secondhand store. So I was totally excited about that. Um, I did start that in Mania of 2018. And let's see what else we got here. Candy Cane Santa. This actually is the first, first Dimensions stocking that I did. I lost two bitchy nose. Um, the first one that I did that I fell in love with. It is the Candy Cane Santa. A lot of people have already seen this one. I absolutely love this piece. Um, it is probably the only stocking that I have done so far that is so far that that is the furthest along. And let me show you. Where am I? And my cat's crying to get into my bedroom. I'm so sorry. And here he is. He is, I just think he's one of the coolest things I've ever, I love this Santa so much. I have backstitched a little bit of his eyebrows and I've backstitched um, some of his beard. But other than that, his hat's complete on this side. I will end up finishing part of the window. Again, he'll probably be another 2021, um, hopefully a 2021 finish. Um, there's a lot of, this is all the same so-called threads that they ask for on here. Um, yeah, he's, I, he might be mine. This will probably be my, my stocking. Uh, just absolutely love it so much. And uh, that's how I envision Santa. So, and he was actually started in, <laughs> I think that this got started just because when I got it, I couldn't put it down. So, or I had just had to start it. Um, in 2017, I do believe, is when I started picking up um, cross-stitch again. I did cross-stitching when I was younger. I learned from my grandmother um, on how to do it. And I sat, and I'm not a small project person. I'm just not. I don't know what it is. I wanted to gift her a gift I don't even know if she likes Pegasus, but I loved Pegasus when I was 11 years old. And I, when you were, when I was 11, you could work. You didn't, they didn't care back then. There might've been labor laws, but they definitely weren't enforced. And I got to, I, I used to work at a couple ski chalets and with my parents, we didn't have a lot of money. So for me to be able to do anything or to do something special for anybody else, I really had to work for it. So when I wasn't working or going to school, mostly weekends I was working at the ski chalet. 
uh, making okay money and doing stuff like that. So I ended up finishing this Pegasus. This probably had to have been 11 by, I don't know how many stitches it is now, but it probably 11 by, 4, 11 by 11, 10, 8 by 10, but it was still a pretty big project. Um, and then I took it to the framers for the first time and sticker shock, even back then. I mean, this is 20, 25 years ago. More, well, okay, longer than that. Um, 30 years ago? 34 years ago? Okay. Anyway, uh, I brought it to the framers and got it back from the framers. I think my stepmom at the time was just so shocked. But I gave her that for Christmas and she still has it hanging on her wall. So when I visit her next year, I cannot wait to see it. I will probably critique my own stitches, but I was 11, so I don't even know anymore. So I haven't seen it in a really long time, but I started this on 16th November, 2017. It has not gotten a whole lot of love. It should be done by now. Story of my life. Alrighty, what else do I have? Oh, this piece right here was also a mania start. This is my all-time, I think it's a lot of people's, this is my all-time favorite hymn um, from Amazing Grace. I love the stitches on this. I love, I love the vines. Of course, I love the verses. Uh, I, I don't know if there's a time that I can't sing this without just being choked up. It's just amazing and it's beautiful. And so I figured... I definitely need to stitch this and put this in my house because it is probably a stitchy nose um, probably just one of the most amazing pieces and I have really enjoyed this stitching so I've pretty much gotten all the back there was so much back stitching in this that the rest of this probably will be fine once I finally finish the notes and the back stitching it's just impressive how much back stitching is in this piece but I would like to finish this, I don't know if 20, I don't know if 2020 is going to be the year for it, but uh, I would enjoy doing that if I could actually finish this and have it hanging on my wall. I had to stop working on this for a while. My uh, mother-in-law ended up passing and I couldn't even look at it. I just, this is a piece that is really dear, you know, to my heart that I, I love the verses and yeah, sorry, need some coffee. Alrighty then, let me see what else we got. Oh, this was an enabler. Oh, I don't actually remember again who enabled me to start this piece, but if any of you all can't tell, I love fall. Fall is my favorite time of the year. Spring runs a very close second. And I'm so sorry about that. This is the glory of autumn. All of you know what this looks like. I'm sure you've seen this a thousand times on everybody else's pages. Um, I was born and raised in Vermont. So covered bridges and scenes like this really make bring me back to, really just bring me back. I absolutely love the season. I love apple crisp. I love apples. I like picking apples. I love fall leaves. I like photographing anything in in the uh, fall. I just absolutely love it. So as much as I love it though, I haven't gotten much done. I really need to make sure this gets completed. I like this piece so much that I don't even know if it's faced the right way, the wrong way. I can't even tell. It's just when you don't get a lot done on it, you don't you don't necessarily know. And I will find out eventually because I'm gonna come back to it. Um, yeah, I just love everything about fall, and that's just a, one of my one of my favorite pieces. All right, we have a mystery bag. I can never tell what's in my mystery bags. Ooh, <laughs> again, I can't ever stay away from dimensions kits I don't know if it's the they speak to me every one of them I see it they speak to me I I love family so maybe that's it maybe it's the comfort of the home
being all lit up in the winter time. Maybe it's this. <laughs> I've never been on a sleigh ride, but this I tell you would probably be something that I would enjoy. And I love snow. Yes, I'm a sick person, but I really enjoy snow. I do. And I do believe I actually have gotten a quite a lot of this, not a lot of it, but I have gotten some of this done. So when I moved from Alaska, believe it or not, this is the piece I took with me. I took it on the ferry with me. I had it on the road with me. Now, did I get a lot of it done? No, I sure didn't, but I sure made some progress. Look at that. There is actually some progress in that picture. Maybe this next year I can actually finish this. But I absolutely love all everything about it. The house really just makes me happy. But I got the horse's butt. That's pretty good. <laughs> I've just enjoyed doing this kind of stitching. So I will see. I don't know. Is that even the right one? Yeah, it is. Hmm. So cool. Absolutely love it. Again, it'll get done eventually, right? That's what they keep saying. And I don't actually know when I started this. I think the tag has fallen off. Oh, yep. Yeah. There it is. So this was also a 2018 Mania start. Man, I was busy in 18 and 19, huh? So this piece, my husband actually really enjoys trains. Mm, I've not done a whole lot of stitching for him. But I guess I have some big plans all the time of him. I am not sure I'm a huge fan of pre-printed fabric. But I did actually really enjoy this. And I think I purchased this on a probably something on Facebook. Because I just thought it was cool. So I thought it was actually me stitching the whole thing. But that is not the case. Oh, some hair is going on here. It is pre-printed. Um, and my start is very meager. It's a little scary to tell you the truth. So here's the full pre-printed thing. It's actually very large. But the sections that are on here to, to, to work are very small. And if you can't tell, there's my start. My little measly start. Super cute though. This is a really cute, cute piece. Um, I would like to actually finish this and give it to my husband. I think he'd really enjoy this. He really loves trains. He has since he was little. Um, we have one that goes around the Christmas tree at Christmas time. We live in such a small space now, though I don't know what we put it out too much anymore. But when we lived in our larger house, we put it out all the time. So all the little things when you were younger and stuff that you don't have and then you start bringing it back. I think it's pretty cool. So there's that. We are starting to get to, get to the bottom of the barrel. This, yeah, this can be loud. I don't know why I purchased Velcro pieces, but I sure did. I also started this, um, it's called Christmas Pounds. So true for me at Christmas time by Waxy Moon Design. It is, I just absolutely love this thing. So, not a very big start on this. But I did get something done. I did not use, I do believe this axe is all DMC. Okay. General Arts, um, which I don't have a lot of, or DMC alternatives. And I'm uh, I'm doing the DMC part of it because I don't have any, I really don't have any General Arts, which really upsets me because I really think their, fat, their floss is amazing. Um, and this is done, stitched on um, 28 Count Lugana called Snowdrifts. And this is fabrics by Stephanie. So that's really beautiful fabric too. I have lots of different fabrics. Um, again, this is probably a project I could finish in a really quick amount of time. But for some reason I haven't come back to it and um, maybe this would be like that in between project if I actually finish another one. So this one again, you'll find it funny. This was also a mania start in 2018 funny that it's a dimensions kit but it is smaller so I guess that's a good thing life is good I believe anything it can, wine and friends man wine and friends can make a day amazing I did not get very far on this I'm sure of that I haven't seen it in a while 
so don't be surprised. Ready? Yep, that's it. <laughs> I really would like to get back to this. I think the stitching's great. Um, and it will probably be like one of those things that I'll get back to when I um, possibly separate all my smaller projects from my larger projects and realize that I might be able to finish them rather quickly. So I can get some stitchy stash budget. I have done, I did really well in the beginning of stitchy stash last, at, from January to June. I had really good credit. I promised myself I was actually gonna continue to continue to work on what I had and not buy. This, this last couple months have not been good. I think I've been spending way more than I need to be spending and that's not okay. I have gotten some very large projects done this year, so that's always a good thing. Alrighty. I don't think anyone really knows too much, but I, or this, but I love hummingbirds. Hummingbirds to me, my great grandmother, when she was alive, used to have like eight or 10 of those hanging on the porch and we would sit on the porch and they would just come in and I'm telling you, they would drain her hummingbird feeders by noon and we'd have to refill them and put them back out. So every time I see a pattern or, and this is an old, this is, this is an older pattern. I think it came out, it says 1993. So I absolutely love hummingbirds. I think that they're the cutest thing. Granted, they can be mean, but I love hummingbirds. Uh, I think that's just something I've gotten from her over the years. And I actually have come, this one I've made some pretty good progress on too. Like it's smaller. I probably should have already had it done by now. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Super cute. I absolutely love this. But I love the fuchsias too. She used to have lots of fuchsia bushes hanging around. So eventually this will be on my completed list. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause you for a moment. I do have a few more things and it's not taking as long as I thought, so let me grab my other stuff. Alrighty, we're back. And <sighs> I, until just this year, I actually wasn't involved too much in um, Mill Hill minus some beads from Nora Corbett or um, from Mirabilia, but I was, in Oregon visiting, well, my mom was in the hospital with a quad bypass. So after four or five days of hospitals, I was like, okay, I need to, I need to find something. So I found a little LNS in, in Eugene, Oregon. And I found, and if you haven't already known, I'm obsessed with owls. So I found this, let me pull it up high, or take it out so I don't get in trouble for other things here if I can actually do it but it's called a midnight owl I started this oops no, this isn't gonna be a good thing anyway I'm gonna bend that over so you can't see it sorry it's midnight owl uh, from Mill Hill it's really cool I absolutely love this piece I did not get very far on it which I'm gonna try to take it out now and this, well, I will tell you, is my first time on perforated paper, so I have no, I had no clue what the heck I was doing, for sure. And this is just, okay, there we go. I don't know how that's gonna go there, but I'm trying to get this other piece out, and it's not working so well for me. Anyway, so this is where we're at with this. He is cool. And this paper is really interesting. Like the, it is so neat. I've just really enjoyed stitching him and just, I can't wait to put beads on him. The beads are gonna be so cool. So yeah, I've never stitched on this before. So this, this paper piece, I'm not, I'm still unsure about that. Um, but got all their separated threads. I think that's honestly the hardest part about some of those kits is separating the threads and the beads. That's, I don't enjoy that too much, but, but it is, I have now unfortunately got more than a few of them in my stash. Hence the snowy owl. Again, another Milho Buttons one. But if there's anything that I can tell you is that snowy owls are so beautiful. I love them so much. 
not just because of Harry Potter, but I loved them long before Harry Potter. But I love them, love them, love them. I mean, I, I am working on trying to find some that fly further south this next this year and maybe next year, whenever. Um, I didn't get a huge start on this one, but I, I still thoroughly enjoyed stitching on this. This is like cool. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to actually work on this one a little bit more. This may come out, these may come out as smaller projects after I finish some of my larger projects. Um, we'll see what happens. But again, sorting them I think takes longer than actually stitching them. So that's kind of a crazy, crazy avenue. Um, this one was a new release in 2019 um, from Glendon Place. I really enjoy stitching stuff from Glendon Place. Uh, I don't have enough. Um, this was a limited edition. Before Glendon Place came out with this, I and I did purchase the full kit. I did. They offered it in, I want to say in February. My husband actually purchased this for me because I asked him to because I'd like to hang it on my wall. Um, we lost his mother earlier in the year, later in October of the year before. So this is so beautiful. I love the colors. Uh, like I said, I ordered the whole entire kit from them. And then when it was finally delivered, I was very, very happy with it. Uh, most of the, I do believe it's all in dinky dyes. I really love the dinky dyes. And I do I like to see if you can keep them in there. I really absolutely love the colors. They're so cool. They're just, there you go. And the greens in here, you it's hard to tell them, but there's greens and I really enjoy working with those. And there's a charcoal one. So I really, like I said, I've not been able to work with dinky dyes too much. So it was really cool to get these in this kit and to, to do, I'm trying to see what this one's. This one's called Matilda. I think the bag is it is bad, but a limited edition. This one was a limited edition. Um, but it's like a gray. Sorry, the bags are making it look really horrible. Lagoon. I really like these colors. And charcoal. Horrible. And Kayla's rose. This red. I like this color a lot. So let me show you my progress that I got on her. I didn't do a lot. I think I like I said I did this as a mania start. This is also done on pewter 28 Keshel um, from Picture This Plus. And I could have this upside down. No, I sure don't. So I really absolutely love the variegated threads. They they make this, I think, a really gorgeous piece. So I wanted to finish it in 2019, but we're looking at, it's 2020, and I haven't gotten back to it, not once. So we will definitely, and there's some beads in here too. I, I do believe on the picture frame itself. So I think that will be a fun project to get back to. I did start it for Mania. Yep, Mania 2019. Um, I will definitely go back to it. I actually finished Spooky Hollow, I do believe from Glennon Place. It was my first Glennon Place stitching that I've ever done. Um, the Headless Horseman. He was so cool. I absolutely loved, I loved stitching that. It was my, one of my, probably one of my first large projects um, that I actually finished and I still haven't framed it. I really should frame it so I can actually hang it up for Halloween, but he's cool. Alrighty. You guys are learning a lot about me today, aren't you? Every time I see one of these things, I'm like a piece of myself comes out in it. I don't know what it is um, about this piece, except for the fact that it's, 
maybe old. Uh, I love Norman Rockwell. I love, love, love. I have a couple of his prints hanging on my wall. I, I don't know what it is about these pieces. Um, I have several charts. Um, but this was my first one that I actually started. I started this for Mania 2019. I do believe this is stitched on, oh, I know it's one of the fabrics we got in the store, so I can't honestly remember. But I didn't get very far. I actually did stitch some of this for some semi-sane stitching. I don't know if it was bingo. I don't know if it was. And then I got over inundated and not pre and not not uh, prepped well enough for, for semi-sane stitching. So a couple of them I actually stopped doing because more or less for me, not them. They're so much fun. Um, you never know what's coming at you when you do your semi-sane stitching or even magical stitches like you just you have to really plan for a lot of these things um, and if I and I do feel like if I don't plan that I really get all types of crazy sorry if you hear my cat she's at the door wanting attention um, so this one was actually a mania start for 2020 I don't have as many for 2020 as I did uh, lots of COVID was so crazy here. You would have thought that I would have actually gotten something done, but in Pennsylvania, it was just rampant. It was not necessarily where I live, but where everybody else lives. And it just, it went crazy here. So I didn't get as much done. Again, I think it's also prepping. So I wanted to start a couple of other larger projects and I wanted to see about doing, I wanted to see about gritting my fabric. Um, I've been using erasable pens, which are fine, which are totally okay. But I wanted to try the silky gritted piece, but I've been, I did the whole fabric. Like there is a dimensions kit I, I want to do that I got for Christmas. It's an older it's a piece that I absolutely love and another one for my daughter um, Jack Sparrow which I wanted to do also but both of those kits I wanted to do extreme cross-country with them uh, just so I could have fun with it I tried to do that with it with a chart that you're gonna see shortly um, but it's massive and I did it with one color I did it with two colors and then I said okay I can't do this anymore I have to see some progress so with 88 pages extreme cross-country is a little much but when you're talking about, I don't know, they're still pretty big projects, but I want to do extreme cross country with them and watch them unfold that way because I've seen so many people do theirs like that that I really, I can't wait to do it. So you'll see them later because I'm sure there'll be a new start somewhere along the way. Um, but this one I've been wanting to do for my husband for a really long time. Here's my husband's one again. I think he has more unfinished projects than I do. So... I purchased this a really long time ago, probably from 123 Stitch or uh, I don't know. My husband is very much into the Constitution. My husband is very much into rights, our rights as people. Um, he's very much into stuff like that. So I thought that this would be a really cool gift for him. And if you don't know, my husband's going to gunsmithing school. Some people may like that, some people may not. But this is one of his passions and he really enjoys um, restoring. Uh, working on anything he likes to do that kind of stuff and I'm all for it if he's interested and happy with what he's doing then guess what happy wife right that's how that works so I saw this and thought oh my goodness how wonderful and of course I can't even show you because it's not pulled up right how wonderful for my husband to have have this chart hanging on his wall little did you know that I had no clue how damn big this chart was I don't look at dimensions when I purchase a kit. No joke. I don't look. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'll do that. Well, Primrose Needlework made this. And I thought, how cool would this be to hang on my husband's business when he opens it up? Because it's just cool. So I started this <laughs> in Mania. 
and thought, oh my word, how large is this? This is stitched on, um, I did this on 32 count lamb's wool linen. It's a large piece for one. I've not stitched on this before, and I will tell you that it's got a weird texture to it, but I don't care because it's really cool. So here is where I got on day one of stitching it, but it is so cool. Like how cool? I don't know. I just, I, I'm in love with this piece so much. I'm absolutely in love with it. So on another, I finished this part right here for Mania. And then I needed to do a border for, I do believe for magical stitches. So I just kept working it and working it and working it and working it. And there you go, people. There's your border. Like it's not even fully all the way across yet. But as you can tell, this is going to be a massive piece. I am just, I, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be an amazing piece. When will I finish this will be our next question. I don't know, but I can't even show it in the full, full, in the full frame just because it's just so massive. So I'm still really excited about this piece because I think the fabric and everything really go with this piece. Uh, it's not quite as parchment-y as I would like it to be, but it's it's perfect. I, I'm really happy. Um, so we, we all live in, I'm sure I've told you, we live in Pennsylvania. And so with his Gettysburg address, this just matches perfectly. The last time before his mom passed that we got to go do something as a family, we went to Gettysburg and enjoyed a full day of and just enjoying it. So, um, yeah, this is just like a cool, I just think it's so cool. So I'm sure you'll see more progress on this as it comes together because it's pretty neat. It does actually call for, um, general, general arts, um, threads. However, I did the same thing I did before since I have so much DMC. I really have a lot of DMC that, um, yeah, I just I just went with what I had. Um, but I would really like to work with some more gentle arts, the thread, and go from there. I'll put this up real quick. So that was a huge project and undertaking. Um, oh, oh my goodness. This, I'm blaming Jesse Marie, okay? Just, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there. I've sent her a couple messages. Um, and yes, I just name dropped you and I'm sorry. Not sorry. But she has done, and I, there's so many people out there. So many people that have done, done these pieces. Um, I'm so intimidated. I'm still really intimidated. But let me see if I can find the photo real quick. Because I may not have printed one off. Oh, goodness gracious. Maybe I did and just don't know it. So I jumped off the deep end and I don't have a picture of this, but I do, it's on my iPad. So horrible at this. So, Chatelaine. I absolutely love so many pieces from the Chatelaine designs that I couldn't help myself but to jump on the train. Jessie Marie does stuff, her channel. I'm sure you all following her because she's just amazing. Um, by the way, congrats. I've been waiting for that news, Jessie. Anyway, um, I'm doing the Polar Man Mandala. If I can find it, I will actually insert a photo of it so you can see what it looks like. But this piece reminds me of home. It's pretty much just exactly why I started this piece. Um, I have most of the stitches. I should have listened to Jesse to begin with and just gone to the European Stitch Club and just bought it all together. But every, every now and then my husband gives me a gift certificate to a stitchy store and guess what I've been doing? I've just been buying stuff. Periodically, these are dinky dies. Some of the dinky dies that work for this Polaram Mandala. And I actually started it. I'm so excited about this. Um, I started this on the 6th of June. This was supposed to be a mania start, but I, anyway, big old piece of fabric. 
I want to believe this. I don't know. I actually even know where I got it. It's white, antique white. And yes, these are the ones you can't laugh at. Just don't laugh at this because there's not a lot done, but it's a start. And here she is. <laughs> not a lot of stitches, <laughs> but guess what? I actually started it. So instead of dreaming about starting this piece, I actually did it. The polar bears in here, I've never seen one, just so you know. No, they're not very active where I'm at. I eventually would like to see one, but I have not seen one yet. Um, believe me, my camera will be fully loaded when I do see a polar bear because I'm so excited about that. Um, so many threads, so many new stitches that I have not done yet. But I'm super, 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 super excited to actually continue on with this. I don't know if it fits in the schedule this year. Gosh, forbid. Floss tube stitchy nose, I swear. Um, but it's going to come out and you're going to see a lot more of it. Um, and yeah, I just... I thoroughly enjoy it. I I can't wait. So thank you for showing all of your chatelaines, Jesse, because I really do. Um, I really, Floss Tube inspires you to do things that you would never think you would ever do. So again, I, I'm actually kind of upset that I, this next one, I don't know how to finish this off because it kind of sort of already is a finish. But this was um, Stitch Rovia. Stitch, I don't actually know if I'm saying it correctly, but she did a thing called Quotes to Live By, or they did a thing called Quotes to Live By, and I purchased it. I will tell you that I'm upset with myself because I didn't purchase all of them because I was trying to be money conscious. Well, stupid me, I did not realize they, were not, they weren't going to sell it anymore. So I finished the first one. And went to go buy the rest of them or at least the next one so that I was being money conscious for myself and I found out that they no longer were doing it so that really upsets me because this is what I got and I absolutely love this piece I was so stoked to actually start working on some more of it so now I got to figure out how I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this I actually don't know what I'm gonna do with it now um, I actually don't even know what this is on this is Probably, it does look like it's 32 count. It's a very weird feeling of, of linen, but it's, I love this piece. Um, I have asked if they would sell me the rest of them and I would totally have bought them right away, but um, I've not gotten any responses for that. So um, I would love to finish this. I finished, I started that in February of 2018 and finished that first part a year ago and I don't I don't know if I'll I don't even know if I'll ever get to finish it so that's kind of a sad piece but I enjoyed it so much and I loved the cause that it was going for so that was that was cool um but this next one I think I purchased this off um excuse you or excuse me this velcro I use some of these containers um I just buy them in the store but some of them have velcro and it can be really loud on the, really, really loud on this. But I don't know why I enjoy this so much. This is designed by Letty Eckberg. I probably just butchered her name, I'm so sorry. But I just think this happens to be probably one of the cutest charts I've seen in a long time. And probably something you'll see me doing later on in life, I'm sure. Um, just stitching my little heart out. I stitched this on Fabrics by Stephanie. It's a 28 Lugana. And so far, this is where we're at. Just got her in her little chair. I would actually like to work on this some more. This is a lot of fun. It's a cute little one. Wow, the back looks like the front. That's impressive, people, that's impressive. There you go, how about that? That looks so much better. The fact that you just got the back of my fabric and it kind of looked like the front made me very proud because that just never happens. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I really like this piece. I could see me hanging it in my house. Yep. So there's the progress on that. This one was actually called Colonial Parchment. I probably purchased this for something else, but it didn't look like that like the colonial parchment thing. I mean, I guess it did, but you're seeing it as like a tannish color and it's kind of like an orangey pinkerish pink tones, a little bit. 
So I used it for this piece instead. I don't know when I started this for Mania 2019. So yeah, that one will get some love eventually. Not sure when, but it will get some love eventually. Oh, this one right here. I actually restarted this. This says May of 18. However, um, we won't discuss May of 18. Um, because I actually redid it. I found some fabric I thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> what you won't know about this is because I threw the last piece away. Literally. And I get upset with things. It's, or just, or I plucked it, frogged it, whatever I did with it. Um, I actually stitched it in the wrong direction. So all those stitches wouldn't have mattered. It really wouldn't have mattered at all. So my daughter, Brandy, loves dream catchers. Loves, loves, loves. I've gotten her quite a few of them and, and done a few things over time. So I thought, oh my goodness, how cool would it be to, um, this is from Leisure Arts. It's number 2871, just in case you're looking for it. But she loves them. So I have purchased her many things when it comes to dream catchers just because she loves them that much. And I picked, I have this, had this fabric hanging around. Oh goodness. Let's see if I can find the tags for it because I can't seem to figure out what it is. I actually don't even know. It was in my stash. I know I got it from somebody, probably Fabrics with Stephanie or... Yeah, I actually don't know what the, I usually keep the tags on the fabric because I forget who they come from. But I love this fabric. Check it out, this is so cool. And here you go. So far, that's where I've gotten with her dream catchers. But this fabric to me just sets this whole thing off. I love it. So, that's where I'm at with that. It's actually not difficult stitching. It's not, oh, I think I just, this was actually done within a day or two. This, it really, I did start it again at Mania. Um, eventually we'll make sure she gets that for Christmas. I actually haven't spoken about Heaven and Earth very much. Probably because my largest project that I'm ever gonna do in my life is from there. And I can't, so before I started doing those handy dandy Ziploc bags, people, they were my go-to everything. I started this one for Mania in 2018. And it is the mini Christmas meal box. I just, I don't know why, but this just invites me home. This just makes me want to go home. No, my house was never like this. Maybe that's my dream home one of these years. But my home is not like that. <laughs> and this is gonna be on 25 count Lugana. I actually really like stitching on Lugana. It's really beautiful fabric. And so far, this is where I'm at. This is one over one. And I really just, I like the stitches. The stitches are really beautiful in one, one over one. So it is a lot of very fair colors. So I have not gotten back to this. Will like to do so. I have not, it's a mini, so it should be fairly quick, so, so they say. Um, we'll see how long it takes me. Obviously it hasn't been touched since May of 2018, so I don't know how far or how long it's gonna be before I actually get it done. So in this bucket, I only got a few more things. So it does not look like it took me forever. I know I'm missing some projects, so you might end up getting some of those later on. But again, in the theme of Santa, because you all know I absolutely love him, this guy right here. I just think that seeing the wood Santa with all of his toys in his sack just makes, this is just, you know, he, he's in the woods. And he brings all of his toys. I think this is on 32 count. It's white art, maybe. And I didn't get very far, but here he is with his sack. And I got some of the tree done. 
some of the trees in the background right here. This is where it starts over here. So yeah, not too, too bad. Like that's his Christmas sack with all the toys for all the good little girls and boys. I've actually started this a couple times. I didn't like the fabric I first started on. So yeah, he gets it. And again, that was a mini 2019 start. And here is the Snow Queen from Mira. I really like her. I don't know who enabled me, but somebody did. Please forgive me. I'm not, I don't stitch a lot of Mira. I don't, there's some things that just don't, that don't really appeal. And I think that's everybody. Um, but this one right here was pretty cool. So I have two patterns right now called Snow Queen. She's one of them. But I will tell you one thing. I am addicted to beads. I just absolutely love beads. Beads to me just are so much fun. This is stitched on 32 count Twilight Blue Linen. And it's, yeah, 32 count. I already said that, didn't I? And she's pretty cool already. I haven't gotten a lot of stitches on her, but I've, it's a few. Yeah, get this in here real quick. I love it when I stitch on a pattern like this because it, you start seeing where all the beads are gonna go and that just gets me really excited to actually work on it some more. So again, I'm not sure when I'll work on this one. I did start this for Mania 2019 um, and have not stitched a whole lot of it in 2020. So I would like to see myself stitch on it a little bit more. Um, it was probably one of those, I can't wait to start something, story of my life, and can't wait to work on it, and then never came back to it. So another start, actually this was a start for 2020. My brother-in-law works for the um, Pittsburgh Police Department, and I have not really done a whole lot for him in this section, but... I know that he's gonna retire sometimes, and he's been doing this for quite some time once he got out of the military. But this is um, an original design by Jean Langing, and it's called The Policeman's Prayer. It's not a lot to do with this, lots of backstitching, and, but I really thought it would be a nice gesture. And this is on, from Picture This Plus on 28 Count Lugana, Alchemy, and I did get some of the back stitching done on this. There you go. I just like the fabric for this. This was a really cool piece. I will probably, this is actually on my wheel along with my husband's 262 um, to hopefully get some time on it. Um, I would like to finish it this year. We'll see what happens. Um, I have some time, so we'll see what happens. All right, this happens to be fi a funny one that I've enjoyed again. Velcro, sorry. I have a couple of these. Um, I don't know how I wound up with so many of them, but I do have a couple of the of the patterns. But an awesome Halloween piece. Yes, I can grab the stick. This is um, a Sue Hills divine design divine. <laughs> And I really got a lot of it done. This was a cool mania start because I really ended up getting a lot of it pretty much done over the time. In one day, I thought it was pretty neat that I got a lot, quite a lot done in one day. So I really don't see this one taking me too long. So I think that I would be able to get this one done very quickly. Um, if I actually just got a few hours to work on it and then probably frame it and put it up for Halloween, maybe. I do not know where I got the fabric from. Um, it does look like a 32 count, but it's really super soft, so. And I don't have anything in the packaging, so that's kind of a weird. And I thought I was better at this than I am now. So, but that was a Mania 20 start. One of the very few that happened this year. 
This was a Mania 2018 start. I don't know, this this whole, this speaks to my personality, <laughs> I guess. But, pretty cool. Between two evils, I always pick the one I never tried before. She's super cute. Her dress is really neat. So, I didn't get very far on this piece. But I just think she's funny. As you can tell, there she is. It's the bottom of her dress. Super cute though. I don't really think she'll take too long to stitch up either. Again, if you look at it, it's just a small design and I'm sure I'll get it done eventually. That's what we all say, right? It'll eventually get done. I'm not gonna work that up because it'll make so much noise. Okay, this piece was a Christmas carol. This is, I will put the design photo in there. A floss to a tube enabler did this one too. And you cannot laugh because I started this on Mania 2018. And I will snitch the, I will give you this, the person that enabled me to do this one because I was so, I couldn't even believe I couldn't find it on Heaven and Earth Design. So I saw one of her floss tube videos. I have a hair going all over the place or fabric, something. I saw hers. Um, and was like, I'm in love. If anything, a Christmas Carol, and I'm all about it. I absolutely love the movies, the shows, most of the remakes, um, the funny ones, the, I mean, the Muppet ones. I just, they're all cool. And um, it's the moral of the story, really. Um, I did stitch this one over one, and it's on 25 count. And this is my start. <laughs> no laughing. I laugh at myself enough as it is. So my first 10 stitches of the design and I absolutely love it. I just can't, I can't wait to actually work on it. Um, and it may be one of the heaven and earth designs that I do in, um, in the coming years. So one stitch or one thing that you haven't seen yet, and this is Randall Spangler did, um, this was probably the first piece that I picked up in a really long time. I didn't pick this piece up. Um, I think I, I purchased this off of one, two, three stitch or everything stitches or um, this was when I first started going back into stitching. And I uh, I just fell in love with this piece. I'm not 100% sure why. And I have the piece of paper that I wrote all the information down and I hid it like crazy, like a crazy person does. So. Um, I started this August 21st of 2017. What's funny about this is I actually took this on a hunting trip in the woods of Alaska. Well, there's no woods. It was on a mountain. And the mountain, we went hunting for goats. You have to get it drawn and all that good stuff. And we did. We went up there. We saw quite a few. I didn't get one, unfortunately, but whatever. Lo and behold, I did not realize there were so many pages to this. I just wanted it, so I bought it. Remeasured it, did a full page, realized that I was doing it on 16 count and that I was never gonna have enough space for this. So I purchased the right fabric for it, restarted it. And yeah, this is just, it's a massive piece. That's all I'm gonna say. It's the Trick or Treat by Randall Spangler, um, charted by um, Haid, and so far this is where I'm at. I love this piece. I'm still in love with this piece and I have done a lot of work on it already. I do have this last page right here is in the works and then this little itty bitty section right here is the last page. I am hoping to finish this by the end of the year. Um, it is on my wheel chart. So there's two spots on my wheel chart. So hopefully if I finish the next project I'm gonna show you, um, I will get there, but I love, I absolutely still love, 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 love this piece. So yeah, it's always on my mind. It's always staring at me. It never comes off its scroll frame. This is its designated spot until I finish this. Um, but it's, so this, oh, this is the one I was telling you about that I did the extreme cross country with. So you'll see all of the, <laughs> I did it with two colors. So those two colors I'll never have to see again in my life brown and light brown. 
So there you go. Um, it is not, it is not the, um, it isn't the, uh, what do I say, like the 288 colors. It is not that, but it's still got so much detail in it. There's no back stitching in this. Um, it's really cool. So I will be very happy to get back to this. There's already a ton of mistakes, but the only person that knows about them is me. So we'll just move on. Um, but yes, this is my largest piece. You'll probably see this many times in this next future videos. So there's that one. And the la I do have many, 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 many more whips. But I'm not going to... Half of them, I don't even know where they're at. But I do know I have more. I've not. I've, there's a few I'm missing. But I am going to show you my current whip. Um, this has been drawn on the wheel. And this is what I've been working on for August. Um, everybody knows the Embed Amish Life pieces and works of art. I am working on hanging of the quilts. I will continue to work on this piece. I started these. I see I have the pieces for this. I started this one on May 10th of 2018 for Mania. I have already started the back stitching on this because the back stitching alone will make me lose my mind. I will go crazy. And um, the last time I finished the centerpiece, I actually didn't finish it for the longest time because of the back stitching. Um, there is a lot of it, but I really don't have much more to go for the top part of it. Um, I am working on the back stitching right here, but I so love the hanging of the quilts. I think the chicken and the children are my favorites. The cat alone makes me happy. Yeah, you just, I, I, this piece, there's a long story that goes behind this piece. I purchased this piece in, when I was in my early 20s. I actually purchased the magazine and the people I was living with at the time, she would cross stitch and she goes, do you realize how much work is going on? I was like, I don't care, I wanna do it. Well, little, little, she was right, okay? She's 100% correct, 100%. There's a lot of work that goes into this piece. Um, I did the largest one first, but I also have, let me see, it's in this bag. I also have her sister. The next one, not as far along, obviously, as this one. So this is Tending the Garden. And there's that one. So I do have some stitches on it, thanks to semi-sane stitching and thanks to magical stitches. I've really gotten quite a lot done on all of them for various reasons. This is also on the wheel. It will come up, I'm sure. Um, and I'm hoping I can work on it as feverishly as I have on the other ones. That one that you just saw, I started in May of 17, May 17th of 2018. So. It's it's due. It's time for them to be done. They need to, they need to, they need their their time. It's time. I will probably have them framed. I wish I would have stitched them together. And then I had a fight for the longest time in my own head of what the hell am I gonna do? Well, there you go. So my works that I'm currently working on is this one. I will come back probably later this week. Um, spin the wheel for my next project. Hopefully you're gonna see this one completed. That's, that, that's my goal. This is my goal is to have this one done. Um, so that is most of my whips. If I find there's more, I'll show them along the way. Um, I know that there's more of them. I just have to find them in my plethora of spots that I've put things in. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting me and supporting my channel. I really appreciated all the love and and everything that you can that that you've all provided me. Um it just makes me want to stitch even more and share more um and get to know some more people. So thank you guys again. If you did enjoy this video, like, subscribe, share it, be happy. Um enjoy your Sunday. I will uh start cleaning and start stitching. So happy stitching everybody.